I actually kind of didn't recognize you, and I'll tell you why. It's because you don't really wear um, updated stuff. You usually like at Halt and Catch Fire, and you're yeah. wearing stuff from the 80s, yeah, yeah. or you're wearing like you know uh, stuff from like the 1930s. Yeah, I know. So okay, so how long did it take you to get ready today? Uh, it's, uh, ten minutes. Oh ten yeah. Minutes. Yeah, which was pretty good. But in the 30s stuff, there's so many layers. So that's actually one of the differences I noticed when we get when I go to set. I was like, oh my god, this takes so long. Everyone's wearing vests and all kinds of stuff and. I just kind of put this on and I arrived. <laughs> well, so I'm a big fan. I mean, I'm, I'm going to talk Halt and Catch Fire in a second, but I want to talk about this show, The Last Tycoon. So you're like a guy from the Depression, yeah. and I think that you're about to become a driver for Kelsey Grammer's character. I don't know, because I only watched the pilot today. I, I'm not going to tell you what happens, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do play a character named Max Miner, who actually like came from Oklahoma during the Dust Bowl, which happens off camera. That's kind of the backstory to California. Like so many people did. It's a really interesting story. Like all the people came from Oklahoma. Oklahoma, and I have my younger brother and sister and just trying to make a life here like just scratching and clawing and then of course I become more integrated into some of the other characters which I'm not gonna reveal too much um, but it's a really interesting character I like playing someone who has to claw their way um, into a place of survival so it's really cool yeah have you ever been to Oklahoma no I haven't I've never been there yeah I mean you know <laughs> I looked up some stuff um, no, I looked a lot into the Dust Bowl, actually. There's a great Ken Burns documentary on the whole thing. So I got to know a bit about it through that, but uh, I've never been there. Did, so did you read the source material before, like, you, like, read for the part or got the part? Or, like, when, at what point did you read the book or you didn't at all? No, I didn't at all because I, F. Scott Fitzgerald is actually my favorite writer. And The Beautiful and the Damned is probably, and or Tenders and I are, like, some of my favorite books. And um, I think Beautiful and the Damned I've read, like, two or three times. And I didn't want to read it because he hadn't finished it. And, I, and because of that, I was like, I don't know if I actually want to read this. And then when I got it, I was like, eh, it's a different thing. I don't want to mix both. So I actually just didn't touch it. Even after, like, so maybe later on you will? Maybe, when, yeah, when the series is, is gone, hopefully in like 10 years, then I'll like crack it open and see what it's all about, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so uh, can you tell me a little bit about what's going to happen in Halt and Catch Fire? Oh, man, I can't tell you anything, but it's so good. Season 4 is really, really good. They just wrapped. Uh, I may or may not make an appearance. Uh, it's I, the way they change the game every year on that show is so great, right. and I, and it's so glad they got to go out on their own terms. And I'm so happy for all of them. Yeah. Hey, congratulations.